So this is my short review for the Honda PCX125. So it's a, just a short road test, a bit of a description of what the things like. You can see from looking at it, the bike is pretty much sort of fairly ordinary looking. It kind of looks modernish, I guess. But anyway, if we get on and uh, take a bit of a ride. This is the one with the um, engine stop-start device on it. So normally it's a side stand up, brake on, ignition on. And one of the things you notice with it is that the um, you don't have any start engaging mechanism making a sort of a mechanical noise as you start the engine. I guess that's probably because it uses an alternator to start the engine like they used to years ago. So anyway, this bike actually, it's um, what you notice with it is how fast it is for a 125. It, um, it seems to get up to about 60 miles an hour very easily and would do a load more I'm sure um, which for a 125 is pretty good I mean that's all they ever did do years ago sort of 55 to 60 but it's got that it's known for its um, economy and this thing when you move it around off its stand it does feel very light it could be because it's got fairly thin wheels on it as well as being fairly light and Honda spent quite some time trying to make this thing very economical I don't actually know what the figures are I can't remember what they are now but they are exceptionally good but there's certainly no compromise on the performance when accelerating up this hill sort of 50 miles an hour but, um, there's a fairly fine line between a 125 feeling kind of mopeddy and not very kind of long distance and the next step up where the bike is sort of capable of going long distance so this to me feels like it's a bike that's capable of going long distance I wouldn't hesitate to do 20 30 miles on this without you know, at the drop of a hat, it just feels like it would do it easily. The riding position I'm not that key on, it kind of feels like the seat is a little bit too close to the handlebars for me. I'm kind of fairly normal height. Um, it may be because I'm more used to riding sort of bigger sort of bikes and it kind of feels cramped. But um, it is a pretty minor criticism if at all. I'm quite happy to live with a bike like this. As I've made the effort to make it economical, you just kind of feel like you're getting value for money out of it. Anyway, that's basically the test done. I'll pull over here. You can actually choose to have that idling thing um, on there. And you see it's stopped there now because it's um, you spring back the throttle and it's, and it's away again. It's very clever. Anyway, that's the test done.